today we're out and about in our Huron farms I wanted to show you these beautiful plants these are seven and eight foot and these are Nootkanensis pendulas so you can see a really nice full shaped plants good consistent crate and right next to those Nootkas we're looking at uh, Camacyprus philocoides and uh, we have these available uh, all the way up to six foot here and uh, these are five to six foot uh, specimen grade plant. Now here's one of our specimen blocks. We're looking at uh, five foot and up and these are uh, Isley's Vestigit spruce. And next to those Isley's we're looking at uh, Weeping Blues here and we're starting again at five foot before we dig them but you can see we got a lot of nice specimen grade plant material here. Well we're walking through this field and as you can see we got some really nice uh, five to seven foot and these are Weeping Norways. Look at the beautiful shape to these plants and yeah, next to those we got some nice uh, six to eight foot Austrian pine now at the end of this field here we'll walk through and see these beautiful uh, these are nice big six and seven foot and these are emerald green arborvitae wow these are fantastic looking plants here we got uh, seven foot and up and these are uh, Pinestrobus vestigiata See, they got a really nice full shape. Wow, these are picture perfect plants, and we're looking at uh, Pisces Avis capriciana. And these are like six to eight footers, and you can see here they're gorgeous. Full plants. Now we come across a nice block of these are six to eight foot uh, hemlocks. So you can see here they're sheer, but they got a nice fluff to them. Gorgeous, wide, big, full plants. So we're walking through some of our dogwoods here, and this is uh, Corinus big chocolate chip. Look at this gorgeous full head of this plant. We're looking at inch and three quarter, two inch on these. Uh, here we're walking up to a row and this is a radiant rose. And they're inch and a half, inch and three quarter trees. Well next to those radiant rows, I believe you can see these gorgeous plants. These are uh, Cornus pistachio. And this is an improved alternifolia. Wow, look at the vibrant color on those. This is uh, Cornus samaritan. As you can see, a uh, really nice bright color to it. Gorgeous full trees. Well, the next to those uh, Samaritans here, we're looking at Cornus Venus. Uh, here we're at the uh, end of a row, and there's some more of those gorgeous uh, pistachio. Well, take a look at these beauties. Here we have some more of those uh, six to eight foot, and these are Nootka Cypress. And again, they're beautifully shaped specimen plants. Well, next to those Nootkas, look at these. We have, uh, again, six to eight foot. Predominantly sevens and eights in this block is uh, Sullivan Cypress. Well, I stepped back from the block here so you can see the consistency of those Sullivans and Nootkas in that block. Oh, look at these beauties here. We have a whole row of 36 and 42 inch, and these are uh, Templehof Cypress. Look at that nice row. Well, we're walking through another one of those blocks of uh, gorgeous hemlocks. You can see they shaped them up. They got a nice little uh, fluff to new growth. In the foreground here, we see the fives and sixes. And then in the back you see a seven. We go all the way up to eight footers in these beautiful, natural looking hemlocks. Now as we're finishing this walk through this uh, hemlock block, I wanted to give you another peek at them. Look at these uh, six and seven footers here. Nice full to the bottom uh, feathered plants. Well, in this field we're looking at those uh, beautiful emerald green arborvitaes in that six to seven foot range. Hey, look at these beauties. Here we have uh, six and seven foot, and these are Cornish Mass Golden Glory. Look how nice and full these plants are. Well, here we're looking at uh, some more great specimen uh, cypress. Here we got uh, Obtusa. This is Obtusa Compact, as you can see, four and five footers. Uh, next to them, you see more of the uh, four and five foot. These are Camacyprus philocoides. You know, jump down here to walk down these rows. Here we're looking at uh, five and six foot, and these are. Uh, Pinus flexus vanderwolf. Hey, check out these gorgeous. These are uh, six foot weeping white pine. Hey, here we have some nice specimens. This is uh, Templehof on a standard. Well, as you can see on these uh, Templehofs on standard, they have 30 inch plus heads and they're just beautiful specimens. Hey, look at these eight footers. Aren't these beautiful? As we come through the field, we're looking at some very pretty. Uh, these are Pisces abies capriciana and these are heavy five footers. Wow, check out these beautiful Strobus fastigiatas. They're easily eight footers. Now we're coming up some larger uh, weeping white pine Strobus pendula and these are in that uh, six to eight foot range. Wow, look at these big spruce. This We don't have very many of these. This is a, a specimen variety. This is called Jimmy James. Give you another look at those Jimmy James here. They're nice wide plants. They're an improved fat Albert. Uh, real nice tight compact habit. And these are uh, 
easily seven footer so grab these while they're hot because they're gonna go fast Jimmy James hey we walked into another block of these beautiful weeping blue spruce you can see here these are uh, six footers and up and they're beautiful specimens wow look at this block of beautiful five foot fat Albert spruce here we have another uh, block of that six to eight foot and these are uh, Austrian pines as you can see they got a nice natural shape here we have another block of those uh, five foot fat Alberts and more of the uh, Isley Fastidgets and these are in that five to six foot range and we're gonna come across this field winds picking up a little bit but I think you can still see these gorgeous uh, seven and eight foot Cornish Cousas look how nice and full they are here we have some gorgeous inch and a half inch and three quarter and this is Cornish Mass Golden Glory in line the sun's starting to play a little trick on us here but I think you can still see these beautiful Cornish Cloud Nines these are uh, inch and three quarter, two inch, and beautifully headed trees. We walked to this field, uh, we've seen the cloud nines. Look at these gorgeous radiant rows. Again, these are that inch and a half to inch and three quarter, but they have beautiful full heads to them. Let's walk through this block here. Again, we're going to come into uh, Samaritan in that same size range. And as you can see, they're uh, beautifully sized heads on these trees. Samaritan dogwood, a beautiful head on that plant. This is uh, cloud nine dogwood, again, inch and three quarter to two inch. Well, here's another uh, couple of rows of those beautiful Austrian pine, six to eight footers. Look at these beauties. These are uh, Pinus Niagara Brepo, easily 30, 36 inch heads on these specimen plants. Check out these beauties. Here we have seven and eight foot skyrocket juniper. Beautiful four and five foot fat Alberts in this block here. Check these out. Now here's a look at those uh, seven and eight foot skyrockets again, give you a closer look. So you can see these are beautiful big plants. A little wider than most uh, most people's, and I think that's what makes this one uh, very attractive. These are specimen grade seven and eight foot skyrocket juniper. We're going to end our tour of these beautiful Coosa dogwoods in Huron today. We've seen a nice selection of plant material. As you can see, we have Ohio-grown specimen plant material for you. So be sure to get your order in soon. We're starting to dig, and I uh, hope we're loading that truck for you.